What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be doing an interview with undrafted free agent Jonas Griffith. Griffith went to Indiana State University, and just a few days ago, he signed with the San Francisco 49ers. Um, he was a three-year starter at Indiana State, and uh, he got a ton of accolades, a ton of awards, and he was one of the best FCS linebackers in the nation. In the interview, I'll be talking with him a little bit about his college career, his expectations heading into the NFL, much more. Here's the interview. What have you been doing, meanwhile, with everything going on with the coronavirus? Uh, just doing a lot of workouts and stuff, you know. Um, just hanging out with the family a lot, you know, and just getting probably like three workouts a day in. So, you know, just staying busy that way with the workouts and stuff like that. So uh, when did you know that you'd be signing with the 49ers? Um, was it during the draft or was it right after they contacted you? Uh, it was during the draft, actually. It was, like, probably early seventh round when, okay. you know, they called me and, you know, my agent, you know, and stuff like that. And we were like, you know, if I don't get drafted, I'm signing with them. Were you expecting to get drafted or do you think that you might go undrafted? Oh, yeah, I was definitely expecting to get drafted, you know. And I feel like, you know, uh, not hearing my name called, you know, it's disappointing. But, you know, added fuel to the fire. Right. Have you ever been to San Francisco or Santa Clara out there? Uh, no, I've not, actually. I'm kind of, you know, kind of excited to get out there just, you know, just to see everything and see a, you know, different place, you know, for the first time and also try their food. I heard they got, you know, good food. Do you know when you're reporting yet? Uh, no, I actually have no idea. Uh, I've been doing Zoom meetings and stuff with the coaches and uh, players and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not sure because we know what the coronavirus is going on. Like, they're not sure when they're going to open up the, uh, the facilities for NFL teams yet. Before you attended Indiana State, you had only played one year of organized football. What was it like for you to go from only playing one year of organized football to go to Division One program? Oh, uh, it was it, it was kind of eye opening. You know, like I don't think the talent level and the competition was that big of a difference. But I feel like you know, learning the plays and terminology, you know, was the biggest biggest um thing you know to take from that. Coming out of high school, was Indiana State the only school that you were looking at? There was a couple of schools that I was looking at, like Tennessee Martin in uh, Eastern Kentucky. While at Indiana State, you had six All-American honors, two-time you were two-time first-team Missouri Valley Conference. What was that like for you? Well, uh, you know that was a big accomplishment <clears throat> for me, you know personally, and for the team as well. You know, like I like getting recognition, you know, so I can put the team on the map, you know, the school and stuff like that. You know, it also shows your hard work and you know dedication. So, um, at what point in your college career did you really? think that you had a legitimate chance to play professional football? I feel like, you know, as soon as I got there, you know, I feel like I was, that was the goal, you know, just to work my tail off and see how far it took me. Favorite moment during your career? Uh, my favorite moment during my career probably at Indiana State was um probably my junior year, going on a five-game winning streak to end the season and, uh, you know, doing something that never had never been done at Indiana State before, you know, which is winning five games in a row. During your career, who would you say the best quarterback you played was? Best quarterback you played against? Yes. Um, I'd probably have to say best quarterback was probably, probably Carson Wentz, my Richard freshman year. Okay. The last question, what do you think 49er fans should know that you're bringing to them? Uh, they're bringing the guy that's going to work hard and the uh, guy that's going to do everything, you know, to help the team win, you know, and just a guy that, you know, loves the fans and a guy that's just ready to get to work. I also want to give a huge shout out to the walking bucket for this shirt and this hat. They have the best basketball clothes out there and you can click the link in the bio to go check some of them out. Thank you very much for watching my video and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I put the new 4 on the G. I into the bloody bottoms is underneath.